Hey guys, I'm Jonas on occasion, and today, more Elendling adventures. That's right, it's the adventures of Elendling. Hello, Elendling. I bet I've been saying that wrong the whole time, but um, yeah, we're doing alright up top here. Um, there's so much stuff going on. Like, this is really exciting. If this was the point of the campaign, you know, if this was like near the beginning of the campaign, and we were like fighting this insane, like, battle, just trying to figure out how to ambush people to save our allies and stuff, I'd be like, wow, you know, what a campaign. As it stands there, we're at the tail end of a campaign that has something to do with the Oak of Ages. I don't know, it's a little bit weird. But um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try and uh, help out Carl Franz. We're going to try and keep him in the running. Like, he has just an absurd army, though it's taken a bit of a beating, hasn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that's... Um, he's taken some punishment. But still, he's, he's trying to expand out this way again. Get rid of these... I mean, the orcs did a hell of a job. Did a hell of a number on him. And of course, there's still all the undead running around. There's problems, guys. There's problems. Uh, luckily, though, Vlad is trying to deal with us at the moment. We are pulling a lot of the undead towards us instead of towards uh, Karl Franz, which is good. But yeah, we're going to try and do what we can. But uh, they are dark times. You're right. Yeah, and to do this, we're going to need loads of hawks. He set me up. Or she set me up. I don't know. They set me up. They set me up. Um... It was a setup. So, what's next? End of the turn? Lord, at your service. Hmm. I don't see anyone coming in this way. I might. Short -sighted. I might hop up here and deal with these clowns. Yeah, deal with this stuff. And I can give it to the Empire as a fun Cloud little gift. Don't really care acceptable. how proud you are. Just, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to deploy behind them. Nice. And yet, Blade Singers, I think, should work out quite well against all like the, the armored chaos stuff. Um, and the fact we have so many heroes, that's going to be a lot of arrows of Kurnos flying out and like whittling down things like Chosen. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this this army dealing with them. And Way Watchers, obviously, good at sniping out scary boys. So we should be all right there. And obviously, the undead, they're dead. They're dead. They're already dead. Not gonna be a problem. This army is nearly done. I, okay, I'm not gonna do that. All right, we're gonna have a look at this. Let's give him a way stalker. Let's give him a way stalker. Ooh, a nice quick one. I do kind of like the forest battle one. An extra melee attack because in, in a forest battle they might be able to reach us because we don't have as much room to maneuver. So we'll have our archers, like, just cutting people. Which I think could work out quite well. So yeah, Doulas. Alright, you hop into that army. Arrow of Kurnos. Um, I don't think we really need training. Let's go Eye of Kurnos, Sight Beyond Sight. So that's going to give 15% buff. Extra reload time reduction. Only in forest battles, though, which is a bit rubbish. And then we get Sword Player. Nice. I like it. Uh, and then they can join that army next turn. And I think because they would have joined that army, that will lock me out of using Ride the World Route, because it'll have someone who has moved that turn. You need all of your movement to move like that, which is annoying. Very annoying. Um, I just wish you could move agents the turn you recruit them. I literally don't understand why you can't. Like, there's, as far as I can tell, zero reason. Uh, also... Simply put, um, joining an army shouldn't count as an army, like as a as an agent action. It shouldn't. That way, right? If you have a bunch of agents in an army, you can approach a settlement, have all your agents do stuff to the settlement, and then you can attack the settlement the same turn. Like that would be great. I think that would be really good. It would actually make those agent actions useful, and it would be something you. I mean, you have to pay for it. It costs you gold to use those actions. You know, it's not like it's free. So, the fact that it has to have so much, like, planning, um, and not really planning, just you have to not use your agents if you want them in your army, because they'll recover from whatever your agents did to the settlement before you're able to then join the army and attack it, you know? Just, it, yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I don't like agents in this game. And I think those are a couple of big things. They can't do anything the turn you recruit them, which they should. No reason they shouldn't be able to do something the turn you recruit them. Because usually, you know, there's a huge cap... Right? There's a huge cap. Like, you can't have infinite numbers of them. So it's not like you can just churn them out every time you see enemies. Just churn out a bunch of them and do, like, a bunch of damage army or, you know, actions or something. 
You know, you are you are pretty pretty limited in how many agents you can have, and uh, having them in an army is always really good. And it costs you gold to recruit and to do the actions. Yeah, just uh, yeah, so many so many reasons not to limit them. So yeah, I don't know I don't know why they made those decisions. I'm sure there are decisions. You know, I'm sure there's reasons. Um, I just think they're not very good. <laughs> Alright, let's get... Should we get Hasrive Forge? Yeah, so we can get things like Starfire Shafts. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sister Twilight, fine. Just end the turn. So we did peace out with, um, with Avalon. My cat is... just stood in the hall, meowing. Quite loudly. I think it's because my partner's at work. And the cat wants to hang out with my partner. Which is very sweet. Yeah, hi. Hi, Voltmar. Um, Exiles of Corn. Join war against them. Uh, I don't think we've really got any... Anything to worry about with the Exiles of Corn. So yeah, might as well say yes. You know, more tax breaks. Without having to fight any more battles. I will take it. And Grimgore's Ard Boys have been destroyed. Flippin' heck. That doesn't that doesn't often happen, does it? Do um, you think it was um, old uh, Stank, Stank Boy? You know? Stinky Tim. What's his name? Tamaka. Do you think it was Tamaka? Because he's quite good, isn't he? So, Lilith the Maiden. When elves dream of great undertaking, it is Lilith. Whispering to them as they sleep. Extra spell, sing a hero capacity, extra magic. We discovered Vlad. And uh, one more turn before we lose the crown. Lord of the Best murder this guy then. Now he's going to take some insanely jaunty route, which will prevent us from having enough movement to attack him. Right? Oh my god, pretty much. Because Ickit Claw's in the way. Okay, let's attack Ickit Claw instead. <laughs> Jerk. That's so silly. Alright, do I get rid of Ickit Claw? Or... This guy? Um, I mean, I could do both, obviously. Probably should do both, right? And are we not going to have more... I mean, there's only four turns left. Are there not going to be more invasions? Because I'm worried that that we're not going to have enough... Um, actually, I could probably hop over the mountain and attack Karak Buftar, maybe? Because we do have insane movement range. So that might be what I do. Or I hop over and destroy Skaven Blight. That would be a hell of a power move. Just Orion going, you know, all right, you're dead. Whee! Smash. I think I may have to do that. All right, let's do that. So that's only going to take... Uh, we're still going to have 36% of our attack. And we're going to get a bunch more movement from attacking anyway. So we'll finish him off. Then we'll take Ickit Claw down. We really don't need to be fighting this, surely. Come on. Back up to full health, yeah? Yeah, back up to full health. Good. So, they're destroyed. That has made our crown happy. Uh, lightning strike. It's revolting. And Ariel has something. Hmm. Let's do the evergreen. Because we are about to jump into corrupt territory, probably. Um, so okay, Ikit Claw. I mean, it says decisive victory, low casualties, which I do believe, but I'm also wondering if I want to fight this one, just because like, you know, with all the hell pit abominations and things, I think it could be quite exciting to, to watch. So let's do it. Okay, so that is a lot. A lot of boys. How are we going to do this? Uh, I think probably. Probably start here. And. <laughs> this is so revolting. I love it. I love this army. Every, every battle feels like an ambush with this army. Alright, so you lot are going to charge. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually put you guys behind. Hunters! Orion! For 
No, not you. Okay, you're going to be one group. Uh, you can, I guess, be another like that. That's fine. And then we got the guys on the sides. There you go for them. Alright, you move up the side. And let's do that. Let's get a soul stealer in here. Ooh. Took a beating from that. Okay, let's challenge them in two. And wow, you're nearly killed. Oof. Start hitting them with a bunch of abilities. Let's keep going. Uh, Alright, random abilities, sure. And Orion's in here, having a good old time. More damage, please. And I think that's basically it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, these gutter runners are going to win the day, clearly. Yeah, they're going to win the day. Terrified of them. Alright, have you dealt with them yet? There's so many, like, explosions and things going on from Mickey Claw. It's quite scary. Uh, you know, word of pain. Oh, oh he's shattered already. Well, that's that, then. Alright, we're done. Boop. Decisive victory. Just, uh... Crazy, crazy time, huh? <laughs> yeah. Help it, populations. Okay. Uh, let's abduct the captives. That's put us back up to full health. Icket Claw exploded. Classic Icket Claw. And now we have loads more movement to walk up over here. We can't quite reach him. It'd be very cool if we could have. If we'd attacked that guy first, I think we could have. No? Yes? Yeah, it, it does add, just add it. So yeah, maybe we could have. That would have been something. That would have been something. Uh, but what we can do... What we can do instead... Is go into... Ambush stance. Move over here. And he might run into that ambush. And on the next turn, we jump over here and destroy Soul Blight. Okay, good. And yeah, you can't do anything. You guys leveled up, though. Tempered Rigor. And for Collis... Uh, yeah, Tempered Rigor. Cool. Now you. Okay, then you lot. These are dark times. You're sort of waiting in ambush, but the ambush isn't coming. I'm just not seeing anyone. Lady of the Glade, I would love to get sense. that. A step but I'm a little bit worried. And what might show up? Uh, Middenheim actually has quite a garrison. Oh, Archaon's back. Hey there. Um... I don't know where to deploy, you know. I don't know where to put our boys. Not sure. Can we reach him with anyone? Can Lendling reach him? Uh, yes, but then they're just going to run off. You need me. So I think. How can I assist you? We're going to go there. And then a Trolio is going to move. Maybe not at all, actually. We'll let him come in. Would he ever attack that garrison? I'm thinking not. Which is why I think moving might be the way to go. Oh, we're only on 95%. I kept saying 100%. That's in the impassable terrain. Always says 100% for some reason. So yeah, that is where we want to go to cover that road. I think you do the same. No, moving a bit closer. Uh, well, no, because I want to grab them if they decide to move up as well. Alright, I think that'll be fine. We'll try that. We'll try that. Uh, and Dave hasn't moved. Oh, we are on a new turn. Of course we are. I was distracted by the cat. Um, so we can go and attack this now. Although, he, no, you're going over there. Okay, this is perfect. Let's take Kalakaz, guys. 
And again, we'll have to give it to a tier one because we're elves and we're really rubbish at taking territory for our allies. Really, really bad at it. Let's occupy it. And if these guys decide to attack, you know they actually have a much tougher army than they did a second ago. But I think it's still one we can handle quite happily. So I'll take it. Um, go down, let's get you... Um, missile resist, maybe? Spell resist? Just more health? Bow seeker could be fun. Don't know. Um, sure. Ward of Loic, why not? Why not? And now you guys are ready. They will not succeed. I acquiesce to your request. Okay, let's hop over here. I mean taking Calignorn first probably would have been smarter, but um let's take Gristle Valley. I want to start luring more enemies through here. And again, we have loads of ambushes going on here, and these guys just aren't attacking us. They aren't going for it. It's almost like he's wisened up to it. Which I think is very disappointing. God, we have everything. We have all the things. <laughs> You've leveled up again. Aspects of Isha, I mean, more armor-piercing damage. We get a bit more fighty. Forest gifts is for darts and things. Um, could start doing some of the spells. I mean, just leveling up Soul Stealer. So we do big old Soul Stealers. I think sounds good. Just big AoE damage that doesn't hurt our own guys. Makes it incredibly useful. I think. Alright. That's all fun and games. I think we are good. I think. So, I think the world routes are on cooldown. Do I want another army to... Do I want the Sisters of Twilight to head over to Atheloran to go and help? I'm quite tempted. I'm quite tempted. I mean, why not, right? Okay, let's, um... Well, the Mage Queen wants you in Atheloran. So, boop. Boom. Okay, more reinforcements for Atheloran, which we definitely needed. <laughs> definitely. Alright, and you guys are all fun over here. Just, uh, chilling. We're not at war with anyone nearby here any anymore, are we? It's all a bit tenuous, though. Like, I feel like any of this stuff could... Any of these factions could decide to declare war on us, so it's not really costing us anything. All right, Karakaz, Graz. Let's start building things there. Even though we will be giving them the, you know, giving them to the Empire, for now we need to hold them until we defeat that army. Even though if we get attacked there, that'll probably be um, less of an advantage than if we were out in the open. So maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, so we did indeed get that ambush, which is very funny. Now they're all dead. We aren't getting full replenishment, though. We aren't getting full replenishment there, which is a bit sad. Maybe I should have fought it myself. Because we are going to go take Skaven Blight in a second. And we are going to suffer some attrition when we jump over there. Golden Order. They still haven't... ...haven't recovered. Uh, we've got another ambush. A Lendling was able to ambush one of them. Perfect. Good. Let's just uh, wrap that up. That's one more stack down. That the Empire don't have to worry about. And to do this is a better ambusher now. Lovely. Right, yep, yeah, so many things. Mine's muddled. Oh no! Oh no, one of my treatmen is all confused. Poor little guy. Uh, also, one thing I want to do. Uh, this to do this. Let's bring you over here. Yeah, this is all fine. The woods protect. But yeah, I want to make sure that this to do this is over here in case the Golden Order come in. I can ambush him. I think that's wise. Because they've ended the non aggression pact. We'll probably be done by the time they declare war, but you never know. Ooh, now that's annoying. Oh, oh, interesting. And uh, Leonie Armistead. Might have chased some of those guys towards us. Uh, this is silly. Why have you left Kemler all the way over here, guys? How have you let him slip in? Valiant Lord. <laughs> Etienne the Braid, his wild riders and hawk riders. See, he knows. He knows what the deal is. He knows the score. He's been paying attention to this campaign. All right, proud daughter. Let's get you violent delights. Excellent. 
Uh, it is crazy, we're only earning 17,000 per turn at the moment. No. Well, I could. Oh, there's Archeon. I can't quite reach him. Damn. How about with you? I can reach him. I can reach him with a Trulio. It'd be a much more straight fight, unfortunately. They've suffered a lot of damage, though. Um, I could move another army here to, to back him up. But this suddenly becomes a bit of a problem, doesn't it? No, need my warp token stash. These are dark times. These are dark times indeed. Making my way. Downtown. Lady of Athelorin. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our okay on again. And then maybe with having so many guys here we could take Middenheim. With these two armies. And yeah, decisive victory, low casualties. Oh yeah, I don't believe this will be a problem for us. Nice. So there goes Archeon. So, um, more melee attack. We're fighting against chaos, 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 and chaos. Amazing. Amazing. Good Cannot job, Atrodeo. Sure can. Uh, speed of the Hunter. So our elves are faster. We have a lot of elves. I want them faster. What do you need? Um, Colossal Strike sounds good. Now, where can I put you? That's all like swamp, is it? Why would you be suffering attrition there? Is it suffering attrition because of chaos corruption? Oh. Oh, hang on. I'm seeing that wrong. Look, that's the border. There's another thing here, which is Weissman. That's all Weissman. So I'd need to get here or here. See these borders. I thought it was this border. So I think Atrolio is just going to be suffering attrition regardless of what we do. Which is sort of annoying. Because yeah, we can't get far enough. So I guess I'll just hide. And then here... Yeah, you need to come over here make sure that Lord Old Forest is safe. I don't think any of these armies will think to attack it, but they might come and attack Black Pit, but then we can take it back from them. So I think that's fine. I think that's fine. And Carl Friends decided to run up here for some reason. Even though Azag is right here. Wow, there's a lot of Argos. Okay, I don't know what Carl is doing. If I attack that, it's going to back away. And Carl Franz is going to be able to get down here quick enough. I think we might need to leave him to this guy. And then go save his realm instead by taking down Azag. I think that might actually be the, the better move. He'll be helping too. That's going to be a tough old battle, actually. Because, like, we got we got some powerful units, but they're squishy. You know, they're squishy. With the big weapon strength of, of green skins, this might prove a little scary. Uh, however, I reckon our Waywatchers could probably just take Azag out the sky. Though I imagine he's got pretty good. 15% uh, ward save, 30 physical resist, 40 missile resistance. Um, honestly? I still think we could chunk him down pretty quickly. Lord of the Glade. Maybe. Maybe. Just get the dragon on him. And yeah, they don't have many arrow boys or anything. Oh my god, are we really doing this? I think we are. I think we're going for Azag. This is going to be sketch, especially that nearby as well. So yeah, close victory, medium casualties. Like, it has faith in us. Oh, all boys are going to be a pain as well. Eep. Yeah, this is going to hurt, I think. But, uh... I think it'll be a fun one. Alright. So yeah, I think he's going to go straight for Azag. I think is the plan. All new lot. Yeah, maybe I won't go straight for Azag. Maybe I'll try and do some skirmishing for a little while. Because, I mean, just the fact that I have all of these guys that 
all have arrows of Kurdos, as does my lord. That's a lot of arrows of Kurdos. So if I can drag the battle out a little bit, then I probably should, right? I probably should. Um, let's get the two scrappiest ones out here. So do I just want to wreck these biggins? Want to go for the Arab boys, maybe? Or I want to try and get rid of like some pump wagons or something. Oh, there's an early spirit leech, of course. Let's see if I can get rid of a snotling pump wagon. Lord of the and oh boy, that done some work to her. Okay, we're only on an eagle, which might prove a problem. Oh, we get a charge right in. I think we might. Oh, those are big ends are going to be a problem. They're going to be a big old problem. Oh. That's where you were. Oh, okay. Alright, start shooting Azag. And you. Come on, throw Van Athrema. That's what we need. Oh, boy. Oh, nice, we got him. <laughs> Nerd. All right, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, there goes Azak. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Oh, crap. Got the way of our allies' arrows. Also, I think they were getting shot at by our own arrows, too. Which is pretty hilarious. All right, try and get that orc shame then, shall we? All right, try and hit those biggins. I know the trees are going to be a problem here, though. Alright, mess them up, please. They will die. Quickly. And yeah, more melee attack, please. Stalking the prey. Straight away. Alright, looks like we're collapsing these biggins. Unless we will have them collapse soon. Alright, let's try and hit this jerk. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, you're caught up in those pump wagons. Which is annoying. Alright, keep moving you guys in. Alright, go for those big ones, please. And, ooh, you nearly got killed. Okay, you've taken some damage. Although, you have a regrowth. Forgot about you. And... Right, Van Athrema. Hilarious. All right, he's dealt with. Nice. Highborn Captain Reddy. Children of Apple Lawrence. All right, let's pull you guys back. All right, get into those rock lovers. They're being little jerks. Great God, Commander. Fire! Death to them! I will. Be a bit more specific, guys. Come on. Death to them? Who do you mean? Let's see if we can't hit them too. Them? <laughs> Be more specific, please. Alright. Let's rearrange you lot. Okay, let's pull you guys back. You too. You too, actually. Alright, we're making you. And your front line. You're having a good time, just chilling in there. Alright, good. 
Okay. Now, be more aggressive. Brilliant. Speed things up a tad. Yeah, keep keep moving forwards. They can all shoot while moving, so. Alright, who has has Colonel's left? And of Pereira and Thraima? Yeah, sure. Let's have them. Now random Night Goblin Shaman, try and deal with him. Oh, I think they killed him. Mate, where'd he go? He's dead, isn't he? He's dead. I don't think you're going to catch him. And, oh wow, those goblin archers. A lot of them have... Oh no, maybe not. I can say a lot of them have survived those volleys. No. No, there's more on the way. <laughs> That's... <laughs> so many more on the way. That'll do. Pyrrhic victory. Alright. Uh, let's abduct some captives. So yeah, hopefully... Oh my god, he... <laughs> Girlfriend's lost alt door, but I didn't even realise. For crying out loud. I mean, I can't take that. I can't take that. Oh, okay, spell resist. It's not bad. I think spell resist for the army would have been cooler, but... Forest Dragon, nice. Good way to earn it, actually. Good way to earn it. So. Bolts of the Forest? More missile strength? We do have a lot of Way Watchers in the army. These are dark Feels like times. something we should do. We've already got some buffs for. for his melee combat. Now that he's on a dragon, so I'm happy with that. Colossal Strike sounds good. Lord of the uh, you can get Tempered Rigor leveled up. Can I offer assistance? Hollis, also tempered rigor, but also violent delights. And How can for I you, you? A foe seeker. And let's have a look at ancillaries, because um, what arts a drummer? Yeah, the Vols Anvil Smith. We actually have a lot of those. This UI at the top, I think, is completely pointless. I could not tell you which one we are on. They are so poorly highlighted. Uh, oh, that's it. There we go. You can barely tell. I acquiesce to your request. Here. At your service. Yeah, you all need your own smiths. You need me? Okay, brilliant. Uh, and then, These are for you, times. do we already have the thing that lowers uh, enemy... No. Yes, we do. Yeah, enemy leadership lowered. Good. Um, you probably need some better stuff, though. You know what? We've got a lot of crap here. What was that? Obsidian amulet. That's eh. Eh. Potion of toughness would actually be pretty good. Uh, brass cleaver. Put up melee attack in nearby guys. I kind of like that. It's not bad. Um, other trickster's shard. It's kind of nice for lowering spell resistance, but since we don't have any magic, who cares? The pigeon plucker pendant is probably a good shout. Help him win his uh, airborne duels. And then, yeah, just a potion healing to keep in the fight longer. Good. Alright. That, I think, will work out quite well. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him Kazakh. Uh, well, Karaz. Karak Asgaraz. There we go. Sigmar's you have that. And then he'll have somewhere to take shelter. So, I don't know if it'll have a garrison. You know, I don't know when that'll be updated, but he might be able to take shelter there and be a little bit safer from, from this guy. Uh, that might keep him in the fight. And then Varchio can get Gristle Valley. And then I wonder... Lad's right here. He can actually reach Gristle Valley. Why aren't they trying to ambush? Like, get ambushed? Why aren't they trying to get ambushed? Don't they, don't they want to die? I know, I'm answering my question. Yeah, why, why aren't they just... Lord of the forest. Showing up like lambs in slaughter. It's like they want to live. What's up with that? 
That's stupid. King in the woods. All right, let's go with um, aspects of each. Oh, you leveled up twice, did you? Aspects of each too. Charmed attacks, lower enemy melee attack. So for the, I, I know two attacks them. that they'll have. You know before. Oop. The two attacks they'll get before we wipe out the army, you know, will will be less successful. Uh, of course, he's just stacking it with Regent Renown. But yeah, we should be able to get into here. One thing I have to be a little worried about is the nukes. If they have a nuke when I attack, then throwing all of my guys at random, like, gatehouses to smash through the gates, they could wipe out half my army in a single attack. So I need to be mindful of that. I may end up just auto-resolving it, though. I might end up doing that. Genuinely, like there might not be calls to to do it ourselves. So, Sister Twilight, you moved last turn, so you can actually come up here and help fight these guys, which I think is a good call. So, Vachio, you take Grim Hold for now. Nice. So we're going to occupy that half land. Boop. Nice. Let's level you up. Uh, don't even have bolts of the forest leveled up yet. We don't have an arrow kernel or either, but I think um, more missile strength for this army sounds like the way to go. Right, who's next? I commune. Dilaric, I'm not really sure what they're doing. Why haven't you taken that yet? I mean, I get that it's probably a Skaven settlement, but... I'm just going to stand here and incentivize that they fight the battle if they discover Skaven there. And then you guys... Now you're not great ambush chances out here, but if one of the armies gets spotted and the other one doesn't, then that's like, it's pretty good, you know, that'll be quite nice. Uh, I need to leave Kalik Buftar to Orion, I think. He might need to get that. He might need to do that battle, although saying that, it's only two, uh, three more turns until this is done, and that'll go up. Right, on the next turn, we'll take Skaven Blight. That'll go back to three. This'll be down to two, and it means that we can teleport to do the quest battle for the final battle with Orion. So he will still have the crown for the final battle. And I feel pretty content that I've sort of helped stabilize this area somewhat. You know, Bretonia is pushing in from a lot of directions. Looks quite successful. I mean, Kemla might be making a beeline for us. You never know. But we should be able to, um, you know, hop one of these armies back or something to deal with that. How can I assist See, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. You and we can ambush starts here, which is amazing. That's really, really good. And yeah, well, you lot These are dark times. managed to get rid of the Everchosen, which is pretty wild. Assistance? See, I think we're happy. I think I'm happy with all this. Um, Findle. Anything is possible. I'm going to start a bit of recruitment from you. All right, let's get you some more war dancers. Yeah. Yeah, go on then. I can get a lot more in fact. Man, having one turn global recruitment is uh, pretty wild. Pretty wild. To get one turn Hawk Riders from global recruitment, that's absolutely diabolical. I mean, we're, we're sitting on more than half a million, uh, you know, leaves, whatever it is, what else like. Um, Let's get some Wild Riders, you know? Let's get some Wild Riders. I feel like this stuff should be changed a bit. Just swap all these out for, um... Well, I guess not low Tricksters, but yeah, swap out these other units for War Dancer. That's right, please. Let's swap them out. Our ranged complement can just be the Hawk Riders. That way we're a little bit more secure on the ground. I don't have to worry about, like, babysitting those archers while I'm trying to keep, like, maximize what the ones in the sky are doing. So, that should do it. Let's see what the next turn holds. Were it not for the kind heart of the lady hey, Grisus. He wants peace. I'm going to say no. Feed my trees. Become my compost. My greasy, greasy compost. Clan Mulder has attacked Black Pit. I knew that was a possibility. That's absolutely fine. And we got an ambush again. Yay! Uh, an absurd ambush. So this shows that they were going to attack Elendling. I'm pretty sure. Elendling was going to get attacked by this stack and the other stack that was stood around Middenheim. This is the first one that was moving to position, and the next one was going to follow it up. 
They can't follow it up anymore. Well, they can, but I don't like their odds anymore. Especially because now they're fighting two stacks instead of one. That swung things quite quite quickly. So it should make it easier for us to go and take um, Midnight back. Which is quite a big step, actually. Where the hell am I? Come on. Here we go. And yet to do this is a better ambush. Defense of the Great Plan got destroyed. Wow. Those are my neighbors, and I wasn't even paying attention to them. And yet we killed all of the enemies. Yeah, yeah they're all dead now. It's actually still quite a lot over there. Um, nice oh, little running south. How are you doing? Did Karl Franz destroy that army? I don't think so. I think he might be trying to ambush, which is interesting. Interesting. Uh, you can't quite reach that, but that's okay. None shall live. There's a lot up there. Oh, there's Vlad. There's Vlad now. This army would be great for taking down Fort Sol. I reckon. Thrilling. Very thrilling. So, um... Yeah, screw it. Let's take this. Alright, between you two. Should have that covered. Should have that covered. See, I'm not sure what to do about that. Obviously, I can't take Old Dwarf. They called a war. They called a war. Instead of an ambush between these two armies. That's pretty fun. Not sure what to do here. Because, like, I'm not in Allied territory, which is the irritating thing. So I'm not getting replenishment. I would over here, but who's going to move through that, right? Like, probably no one. But I do need a turn of replenishment, ideally. So, I guess I'm going to sit tight next to Uber's rank and get some healing in. Which is a shame. But we're almost there. Only two more turns. Obviously, one more turn to do a battle. But we have one. I found one. There's one here. See? Battle time. Peric victory. We'll even lose Wild Riders, it thinks. Um, they have some Ogre Bulls as allies, which is pretty cool. And yeah, this will be a fun way to, to kick off the next episode, guys. So, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Let them face the rage of the forest!